while since I have done an ASOS haul and as you guys know there's loads of other brands available on ASOS so I have picked up some new year new goodies <laughs> pieces so stay tuned And welcome to today's video hello if you're new there I am Becky and I do loads of plus-size fashion content along with beauty and lifestyle videos as well so uh, if that sounds like your cup of tea if it floats your boat then don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below I'm trying to get to 20 thousand this year so it'd be amazing if you would give me a little subscribe um, I upload every Tuesday and Thursday as well so there's always fresh new content every week on this channel and hello to my lovely regulars thank you so much for joining me again today um, for this lovely little ASOS haul we've got going on um, I haven't done an ASOS haul I feel like in a while it was always one of my go-to's but I don't know about you guys I feel like ASOS may be like I don't know if it's me getting older or ASOS is just changing and there's like less cute things um, i feel like everything's quite i don't know it's just not really my style much anymore but i do really enjoy uh, the fact that they've started doing top shop in plus size so i've got something from them and they also carry brands like wednesday's girls which are super super affordable so i believe i've got a couple of pieces from them as well um so i'll try and link everything down below uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite pieces are if there's any brands on asos that you would like me to specifically try i can also do a video like that uh, but let's get in to today's haul video so here is a really lovely shirt from wednesday's girl a really affordable brand as i said earlier on asos um so i love pink and red together um i love how kind of contrasting they are i think it's quite a trendy i feel like whenever you say the word trendy it makes something not trendy at all <laughs> but i feel like it's quite like a statement um color combination and i really like it especially with um my light blue mom jeans from h&m um i would wear this outfit to work um i feel like it's kind of that line between casual and like a bit more kind of like officey with uh, the shirt obviously every office is going to be different but this is what I could wear with white trainers and I just think it's a bit of like a, a statement obviously I work in the creative industry so um something like this would be welcomed <laughs> in the workspace it's very bold fun colorful I really really like it um I did get it in a 26 because it is a shirt um it is at the top quite oversized like up here you have a lot of room but obviously the danger zone the belly zone um i'm glad i got a 26 rather than a 24 i think it would have been too tight i think it would have fit but i don't think it would have been comfortable especially to sit in so i'm really glad that i got it in this size for the most part the sleeves are okay um especially for a more affordable brand um they seem to really struggle with stuff like cuffs and stuff this seems to be fitting okay i'd probably roll them up though it is a polyester material which for a shirt i do like because i don't iron um <laughs> especially for hauls uh, you'll probably see something later on and i'll probably be shouted at through the comments uh, but i don't even own an iron in the house i don't have time or the want to iron things so i need stuff that doesn't need to be ironed and this is perfect um, so obviously you might want to apply a little bit more deodorant if you're wearing something polyester like this. It's definitely more of like a, a winter spring material. I probably wouldn't wear this in the summer. It would be very hot and sweaty. But for now, it's perfect. Um, and I actually really, really like it. So I am going up to London to the office a lot more. So I think this is, oh, push up my elbow through the wall. Um, I think this is definitely a keep for me because it's kind of the perfect kind of piece that's like fun and creative but also kind of like office a little bit smarter um i really like it and i think it was a really good price and also i like the little pinky pearly buttons so this one was a big win i think it was around like 20 quid which 
you can't really go wrong with and it fits pretty nicely too um, also you could obviously wear it and um, I think it looks nice both ways actually I probably undo one button down there for a little bit more room and um, but I also think it looks really cute tucked in but also you could tie it in the summer maybe I don't know lots of things you can do with a shirt but yeah I really like this one uh, <laughs> so this is on Topshop and there's a part of me I think because I just love the colour of the green satin that really wants to like it but does anyone else just get the vibe that it just looks like I'm wearing a skirt with a black long sleeve top tucked in mm, I just feel like it needs to give a bit more it just feels kind of strange it feels like yeah like it's two different pieces and they've just like stuck them together like we've got all these green skirts left and we've got all these black tops left let's just sew them together <laughs> anyone else getting that vibe like i just feel like something's missing here like there's no like i don't know and i feel like i think this is 65 pounds i just want a bit more i will say the top half is really stretchy and comfortable um so that's nice <laughs> i did get this in a 26 i could have got a 24 i think and it'd be a bit more form fitting but still fit and i love the green of this satin skirt um i know a lot of you are gonna go no iron it you should iron that before you try it on yeah but i don't have time <laughs> and i can't be bothered because i'm sending this back i don't really like it <laughs> so, and also look how much it creases um i just don't have the time to deal with that no so i love the color i think the color's beautiful but i feel like it's just yeah it's just like they've sewn two garments together it's just not it's just not it's not giving enough for how much it costs um for anyone wondering i think i had a comment on my last asos haul they put these tags on the outside to stop you from going out in the outfit and then just returning it. Um, which, is, which is a good idea, because I think a lot of, pe a lot of people do that. Um, I used to work with a girl that would do that all the time, and I'd be like, she ended up getting banned from Topshop, and she ended up having her mum. <laughs> it was a whole thing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm still on the fence with Topshop, I feel like, I want to like their stuff more, but for now the plus size stuff is like mediocre with a high price tag. There, I said it. So for whatever reason, I absolutely adore this. This is by Vera Moda. Um, I don't own, I think I own like two or three cardigans. I don't own many cardigans at all. And I don't know why. I just gravitate more towards jumpers because they are a little bit easier to style. Um, I'm very proud of myself for remembering a vest top this time so I'm not standing in my bra and a cardigan. Um, so I just like, it's so soft, not itchy, um, but I just love the different tones of greens. You've got this uh, more kind of like seafoam green and then this kind of like mossy green. It's really lovely, really unusual. Um, just a bit more kind of like, chic casual chic casual chic i don't know i just really like it i will say though i'd want a cream vest top rather than a white so that would be something i'd have to invest in but obviously cream vest tops not not a lot of money um or maybe like a blue that matches the jeans i don't know how would you style this i think i'm gonna have a look on asos that's always a really great way to like see how they've styled something could give you some inspiration um, and see how they've paired it. It's definitely something I would pair with jeans, but it's so warm, even with just a little vest top underneath. It's really cozy. Obviously, let me give you a close up of the colours and the knit. So you see what I mean? It's kind of like a mossy colour and then there's sea green, but it's so cozy and fluffy. Um, I just love the colours, no pockets, no fastenings. So it's just like a casual, I think I got this, oh, I don't know what size I got it, so you have to look down there. I think I got it in the biggest size though, probably like a 24, 26, I think. I'm trying to like remember. 
but I really like it. It's obviously not a long, long um, cardigan either, um, but I quite like that because sometimes as well I feel like we end up with a lot of like long line cardigans and it's quite nice to have something a little bit different, but it's still like long enough. It's really, really nice. I think it's different. I think it also matches like my um, hair colour nicely too. So yeah, pretty. So guys, you're not going to believe this, but this is actually a size 14 maternity dress. Um, so I ordered this in a 24 and this is what turned up. Um, so this just shows you that sizing is just a number um, because this top half is a 14, like it is tight on, but here I am wearing it. But obviously there is a bit of like extra material here for my baby. Um, so, <laughs> I'm so sad that I got sent the wrong dress. I am going to see if they have this um, in another 24 or like 26 even. Because these dresses, these jersey dresses, me and Trina love these dresses. We actually have the exact same one. It's a blue polka, no, it's a green and white polka dot jersey dress. I don't know if she hauled hers on YouTube, but I, I think I got mine before you, and I have worn it so much. And I know she wears hers all the time so much, so I really, really wanted another one. Um, and I loved the pink and red um mix i think this denim jacket white trainers such a vibe it's that really nice stretchy material very stretchy <laughs> as you can see um so yeah I, I can't tell you how it actually fits usually but i got the 24 last time and it still fits me now so i can't imagine and if this fits me in a 14 then you know um but yeah it's really cute <laughs> Um, I love the length as well. It's a perfect midi length. I often find as well now with midi dresses, they're getting longer and longer and longer. And I'm like, when does a midi become a maxi? <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like the midis are becoming maxis. This is like a really, like I love this length because I can wear my chub rub shorts underneath and literally just, I don't need to worry about if they're peaking or showing or like, showing at the back or anything like that because it's a nice length but you still have a bit of leg out um so yeah i'm gonna see if they've got this in my size um but yeah i think mean, it's really cute i love the the print and the colors i would just like my size to be sent to me please correctly asos that'd be great so i know this piece is going to be very very marmite um this is again from wednesday's girl so really affordable I'm trying to get into trying red a bit more. There's going to be a big red theme in this video. I think as well, Valentine's Day is influencing my brain waves. Um, so I saw this and I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, and I just like the style. And again, it's helping me try red out. It is a crap tub. And in the picture, I feel like it looked like a longer crop top. I wish this was just a proper top. And you could have the option of wearing it as a crop or as like a top because if it was a top i would tuck it and i'd feel a lot more comfortable in it at the moment i can just about kind of like fill the gap but it's just the back like it just is a bit breezy it's a bit cold um i love this neckline i think it's so so pretty i think i'm gonna have like a good look at wednesday's girl um when i go back on asos to have a look because i feel like they've come out with lots of nice stuff recently i will say oh, i got this in a 24. i always if it's jersey i stick to a 24 because it's stretchy and i do like sometimes showing a bit of my figure off especially my top half because i think i've got quite nice boobies and um, so um you know i don't mind that but i will say with their like stiff like the shirt um, the stiffer material, I do tend to size up because there is no give. But with this, I have stuck to a 24. But I really want to see if they've got any more jersey stuff. I really like their stretchy jersey stuff. It's just comfortable. But yeah, I would love this as a t-shirt. So this is where it's coming up to. Um, this is adjustable as well. And I have actually stretched it out to actually give me some more length. Uh, so I think that's how, because when it came, it was like a lot further down. Um, so it was even more cropped. Um, I love the long sleeves. They're 
Um, I just, I, I'm really comfy and cozy in long sleeves. Like the sensory feel of long sleeves, um, I just really like. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it, but I do wish it was a top. Um, the reality is I have crop tops, but I never really wear them. Um, so yeah, I just wish it was a top that I could tuck in. Uh, Cause I like, yeah, I like how this looks. But I'm just getting cold on my tummy when it's showing. So yeah, I imagine a lot of you will agree. Let me know in the comments. So I think this is actually the only ASOS design thing I actually picked up um, from ASOS. Um, and it's this cute little jumper midi dress. Um, super, super cute. I do love a jumper dress because they're just so comfy and cosy to wear. Though I'm not sure this colour is doing anything to me, nor is... The thing is with this belt is it's made of the same material, which is a very stretchy knit. And so this isn't actually like hugging me in, it's just stretching with me. So it's not really giving me much shape. And I'm more looking like a sack of potatoes, literally, because this is the colour of a sack. <laughs> and I know I picked it, I literally picked this dress out. <laughs> um, I feel like obviously you could definitely style this really nicely. I would definitely swap out the belt. It's really soft, I will say that. Really, really soft, not itchy, uh, which I appreciate. Um, I like the sleeves, they're not too long, not too overwhelming, but just like kitschy, just like nice enough. Um, and also a nice length. I did try on a jumper dress from Next recently, and it was like down to the floor, and I felt, <laughs> I was swamped in this dress. Uh, but this one's a bit nicer. I did get this in 24. I think that's the best size because I feel like otherwise it would just be too much. Um, let me give you a close up. So here is the knit. It's a really nice thick knit to be fair. It's really nice quality. But yeah, the belt, <laughs> it's so stretchy. <laughs> it's not holding anything in. <laughs> so I would swap out the belt for like one of your own kind of like, you know, leather ones or whatever. But yeah, I think it's nice. I'm not sure about the colour though, but they did do it in black. So yeah, maybe if it was, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, <laughs> so I'm wearing this how I remember it was styled. And I feel like it's that whole like grandma chic that we're like seeing um, like come through, especially with like urban outfitters and stuff. I feel like that's urban outfitters vibe for the past decade has been like old lady chic. Um, I feel like it's just making me look like an old lady because it's not oversized. It's actually too small. This is a 22-24. So they styled it completely done up, almost wearing it like a jumper. And that's not a vibe. Um, this is by a brand called Only. Um, I love the big pearly buttons. I do like it when a brand uses like different buttons. It's very, very soft and warm. This is it open. Like it's, it's fine. I don't love it. I way, way, way prefer the other one. Um, I think if this is your certain style, I think it's great. And it's great that they're doing different styles in plus size. So we don't all have to just wear the same thing. So I really, really appreciate that. But it's just not my style. The other one's just a bit more kind of like what I'm going for nowadays, more kind of like classic with a bit of a twist. Uh, this one's just a bit more kind of like vintage inspired, um, like charity shop chic, uh, which is just, it's never really been my jam, but I always, well, like trying other people's styles, that's for sure. Um, so if this is your style, this exists for you. So, um, but it is really nicely made. Very, very, very soft. Um, some really fun colours. You've got lilac, mustard, this like forest green. Um, but yeah, these are the buttons I really, really liked as well. With the little collar. I'd recommend that if you are wanting it to be a bit more like a jumper, like definitely size up. Uh, especially if you're like bigger chested because it was pulling there. Um, so while this isn't for me, I appreciate that some other people will really, really like this. And it's great to see more style variety in plus size. So, yeah. 
So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favourite pieces were down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, and you've gotten this far, I think you should give me a subscribe. It's, you know, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> hope you're all staying safe and well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!